All right, cool. All right, yo, what's up, guys? Trail 7 Reactions. I got my boy, Mr. Reactions and more on the screen here. We're going to do this one uh, that he's... Br Actually, I brought this to your attention. You brought Up Church and Tommy Donald to my attention. So we're like, yo, let's do it in the same day. I've been excited to, to look at this because I think Ben Shapiro is just... I can't believe he's doing this. And, you know, I'm not really a fan of either one of them. So I'm kind of like, all right, cool. Like, you know, let's do this. So... Uh, Obviously, Tommy Donald, I don't know if a lot of people know who he is, but he does have a huge following, and he's pretty popular with uh, a lot of people, I feel like, that didn't even listen to rap music at any point. And Ben Shapiro hates rap music. What's he talking about? So so I guess he's trying to prove how simple it is. So we'll yeah, see. Maybe, maybe. Maybe that's what it is. We'll see how that works out. All right, let, let's get to it. No further ado. I don't want to waste any more time. From yeah, right. facts. Tommy Donald facts. featuring Ben Shapiro. And, uh, yeah. Tommy Donald featuring Ben Shapiro. Let's go. Mr. Reaction. They call me a fan of the controversial. It's only two genders, boys and girls. They can't cancel my message because I'm the biggest yeah, independent yeah, like, rapper in the whole thing. It doesn't even take three seconds to start with the first fucking... It's not offensive to me. Like I'm at, like when people say that, it's just he he just knows exactly what to say and what's going to rile people up. I don't even think he believes what he says. I think he just has the, the, it's, the comment section is his lyrics that's what he does he's like Ooh. this is what i go back to it's like dude i'm i'm a trump supporter right so uh it's like we get it dude we get it but every song it's like i used to I, so, yeah yeah any, that's anybody, what i'm saying i, I enjoyed like, a lot of his older stuff but all right i want to keep focused on this i don't want to just keep talking and get interrupted because i'm trying no. to but but i did like a lot of tom's old stuff when i first uh discovered uh him on on youtube and shit and i was like okay i like this and then he just switched it up and that's i think that's the biggest critique of any of his fans or i mean not fans or people that used to like him or something or even people that don't like him at all is the is that it's so obvious to me anyway i just think his first couple like political songs like all right cool yeah cool but now it's like your whole catalog yeah you know and it's like the dude can actually rap but yeah, it's like yeah. your whole catalog is like just straight. I just I wonder what he's gonna do when when it's it's not no longer popular to be political, I guess, or anti-political. Really, it's popular to be anti-political, and like like there's a lot of people that've been doing that for a long time. Like it's nothing new, but I don't know. Anyway, all right, let's keep going. You're you already offended me three seconds in, and. Uh, <laughs> They can't cancel my message because I'm the biggest independent rapper in the whole freaking world. Claim that I'm racist, yeah, all right. I'm not ashamed because I'm white. If every Caucasian's a bigot, I guess every Muslim's a terrorist. Every liberal is right. I don't want to talk to folks who don't get it. Go woke, go broke, no hope is pathetic. Pro choice pronouns, pro love, you're progressive. But you ain't pro gun, no I mean, one to protect. He can, fuck, he can rap. Like, I mean, it's not, that's not like super impressive. Like, if you get a real hip hop, this is my critique of like sometimes when I talk about like ACAL and rappers like that. It's like, you can rap. But you can't rap rap like you, you who's going to you think who's Tom's equivalent in the mainstream. In today's age. Yeah. I mean, you got Big Sean, you got Drake, you got you got uh, so many artists even like I mean, who can who can Tom keep up with in like a mainstream world? Young Thug, maybe who cares what type of content they make? But like, who is his. Ooh, his competitor, I guess, he would be really like a. I mean, I'm just saying as far as, like, if you were to take him into the mainstream... Uh, he's an average rapper. Of, he's an average rapper among among the, like, top... The real hip-hop. Yeah, he's just an average rapper. But he's so good at what he does for his audience that he they're, they're like, yo, he's, like, the best. And I'm like, I don't know. like I don't think he could hang on a song with, like, like a Luda or, like, a Wayne or a DMX or something. That's you know too I mean? high up the chain. That's too high up the chain. Like, let's even back it up to, like, the locks. Well, they're they're... I mean, the locks are, like... Uh, I don't know. I just sometimes think about that. Like, like a Kendrick. Who, no, no. Kendrick is. I'm like, saying, I'm saying, do you think he could keep up with him? No, no, mm. no. <laughs> yeah, no. I think he could rap, but like, not like that. Let's go. He might, he might, he might impress me in, in this. Not that, you know, whatever. It, what's also impressive is that he makes all his own music. He does all his own, you know, he does all his own backgrounds and shit. And that's that's super dope because a lot of people have a team and it's hard to build a team. You know what I mean? And he's just relying on him and Nova and shit. And that's cool as shit. Like I don't I don't want anything I, everything I say to be disrespectful or anything. It's just in my perspective. You know, I've I've listened to him before. Anyway, yeah. you know, but it's that's dope. And obviously, this is part of that. Every Caucasian's a bigot, I guess every Muslim's a terrorist, every liberal is right. I don't want to talk to folks who don't get it, go woke, go broke, no hope, it's pathetic, pro 
choice pronouns pro love you're progressive but you ain't pro gun no one to protect it where the american flags at remember when people would hang those they've been taken down they all been replaced with blm blades or a rainbow this ain't rap this ain't money cars and clothes we ain't selling drugs we ain't gonna overdose we ain't pushing guns ain't promoting stripper poles we won't turn your sons into thugs or your daughters into hoes i say i like Ooh, that's a great picture right there. So I like, uh, all right, you know, at one point I was talking about stuff like that. Like the game ain't all about money, hoes, cars, and clothes, da 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 da, da right? And and I <laughs> like some of these parts he's talking about. Like, I, you know, the industry is trying to fucking make your kids, you know, do this, do that. But he, he by picking sides, sometimes it doesn't really help to, to get your point across. Because some of us might think that, but he's all like doing the the other stuff too. Like, I don't know, go, like woke, yeah, a lot no, of woke sure. A lot of woke stuff was like before it went so liberal. A lot of woke stuff was like in in black culture and things. Like if you're woke to things, it means you're aware that things are going on. And they turned it into this this other thing. And he's kind of like fighting those people. And they're people that are like really woke that are like, we see what you're seeing, but you're taking it too far. I don't know. Yeah. No. I mean, it, it's. I think this right here is just like overdoing it to me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know, it's like how many more songs is he gonna put out saying the same thing? He just says it differently. <laughs> that, that's you know a what I mean? Point. Yeah, I, I mean it's the truth. I mean, look at American Flag. It's literally saying the same thing that he said in American Flag, and he started American Flag off. I think it was like American the first five American seconds. flags. Yeah, I, I'm not gonna I lie think, though. I don't. I never had a desire to wave the American flag. I, I'm from here. I live here, and I, I'm proud of being here I, I just never had like a but that's just my own personal thing i never had like a, a a thing that i would do like i didn't have a football team i don't have a you know i don't know so but i don't i don't have any flag honestly i don't have anything out front i kind of i'm kind of hoping like maybe one day i decide that i want to put one out there <laughs> I, gotta I, don't, go. I know you do <laughs> i don't care if i offend you let's go i don't, I don't care, care if, if i offend, offend you. you oh shit i was playing to upset hey, hey. Let's look at the stats. I've got the facts. My money like Liz, so my pockets are fat. Homie, I'm epic. Don't be a whap. Dog, it's a yarmulke. Homie, no cap. Look at the graphs. Look what at is this AI Ben Shapiro? Come on. No way, bro. No way. Bro, I've seen Ben Shapiro was so happy he did this. He was like, all right, guys. Uh, here's my new video with uh, Tom McDonald. I thought I could rap because I made it up and right on the spot. We were freestyling. It was amazing. Yo, I asked myself, what would Ben do? Oh, my God. <laughs> What'd you say? Right before, right before, what'd you say? What'd you say? Oh, no, I was saying, what'd you say? You didn't say oh, I was just rapping his, oh. I don't care. Man, if you want my pronouns, I'm the man, I'm the man. It is typical Tommy Donald hooks. He's got a formula. It's working. He's doing it. You know, whatever yeah, you want to hate on it. Definitely working. Yeah. Definitely Let's look at the stats. I've got the facts. My money like Lizzo, my pockets are fat. Oh, yeah, that big dog. My money like Lizzo, my pockets are my fat. My pockets are fat. Did Tom get <laughs> nobody to write these lyrics? Because <laughs> for Ben Shapiro. Be a whap. Dog, it's a yamaka, homie, no cap. Look at the graphs. Look at my charts. You're blowing money on strippers and cars. You go into prison, I'm on television. Dogs, no one knows who you are. Keep hating on me on the internet. My comment section all woke Karen's. And I make racks off compound interest. Y'all live. You know, Tom wrote these lyrics. He knows them too well. Look, watch. And I'm on television. Dogs, no one knows who you are. Keep hating on me on the internet. My comment section all woke Karen's. And I make racks off compound interest. Y'all live with your parents. Nikki, take some notes. I just did this for fun. All my people download this. Let's get a billboard number one. This ain't rap. This ain't money. Cars and clothes. Oh, I want to comment on that. Yo, these, these, these billboard number ones. Do you know how they get that way? I have a speculation. Can you hear me? Uh -huh. what? What's the I, speculation? I'm speculating. This is how I think they do this because I see a lot of artists are like, we went number one. I think they pick a time of day. They follow their their out. They follow their data, and they pick a time of day. They know that their people are gonna listen to their shit. 
that no one else is listening to anybody else. It's like a time, and then like it's like twelve, twelve fifteen, uh, midnight. Like you know what I'm saying? Twelve fifteen a.m. on a Tuesday that nobody's really selling records or you're not listening, and they'll they'll drop it that night and then go number one in like two minutes, and then they're like, "We went number one." You're like, "You went number one at twelve thirty on a Tuesday." Like <laughs> that doesn't count. You're fucking stupid. Like, don't play me. <laughs> and I wonder if that's true. It's just my speculation. I've seen tons of artists do that shit. Same you went number one because you put your record out at 3 o'clock in the morning, okay? Exactly, bro. <laughs> you were number one at 3 in the morning. That's awesome. You were number one from 3 o'clock in the morning to 9 o'clock, okay? March, <laughs> March 13th. <laughs> Oh my Whoa. god. We ain't selling drugs, we ain't gonna overdose. We ain't pushing down that one more hurt. strip of poles. We won't turn your sons into thugs or your daughters into hoes. I don't care if I offend you. I was put here to upset you. Oh my god. You can cry and you can scream, you can ride in the streets, you defunded the police. Now there's no one to protect you. It's cool to be the victim, well, I'ma be the man You sad, you sad, you sad You just try to get attention, being triggered's all you have You mad, you mad, you mad You blame everybody else for every problem that you can You sad, you sad, you sad I will never say I'm sorry, I ain't taking nothing back I don't care if I offend you He's drawing hard lines, man. Look at that. Oh, that's a dope screenshot. That's pretty sick. I don't know. I mean, it's nothing new. You're right. That's that's all it is. I I can, I'll be like, yo, the video's cool. Okay, cool. Like the uh, the beats hard as fuck. I ain't gonna lie. To they're you. always pretty hard. He makes some good beats, honestly. I also and heard. I also the heard, same. Dude, I heard that he's copied some. Like I went pretty deep dive. Like when he first when I first started, like kind of not being a fan, I was like trying to figure out what he was doing. And I I did a deep dive on on somebody was actually saying that they made beats and he would take them like they would he would they would put them online somewhere and he'd redo the beat on his own instruments which is talented right you can redo but he would make the beat and then not have to pay for it I don't know how true that is that Crazy. Shit, I hope people comment and tell me some shit <laughs> let's keep going I was it's only another thirty seconds. I'm the man who don't respect you. It's just hitting all the the target things. I'm not triggered, but I don't think it's I think it's stupid. Like what did I say? The line of offensive and just you can say what you want. The in, there's intention behind being offensive. So he's intending to be offensive. He doesn't care, and that's whatever. Fine. I, if that's how you want to fight. Uh, there's a lot of things I, just, I might. Yeah, like with the the industry shit and making kids do this and do that. Like you got a lot of good points. It's just the way you're 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 doing it. You're there's, just... But there's got to be a time we draw a line in the sand, dude. It's like there's already so much division and hate in the world. It's like ah, to me, it's like all this. And again, I mean, I'm a Trump fan, but it's like all this the Trump MAGA rapping patriotic. Grr, like we get it dude you made like one album two album three album 14 songs 18 yeah. singles you know it's like dude okay dude like okay let's see i don't want to be upset rap. about it yeah. i don't want to be upset about it like you got to no. strike when you just got to strike when the iron's hot they say you no, know he's my obviously... thing is like okay now it's time for you to show the people you can really rap about some something else and something that's got like different subject matter you know yeah. like you know yeah i wonder I where, just, he, where he'd go with that because i i often get stuck on like what to what to speak about if i was going to do any music it's yeah really but i mean dude 
How much? How much more is this guy gonna talk political shit, though, bro? I thought it it's was like, gonna I'm be. I'm a political enthusiast, bro. I'm a politician for Christ's sake. It's like yeah, it's but I don't so... want to hear it all damn day. I don't want to hear it in my music, and then I got to hear it in the news, and then I got to hear it in my social circles. Like everywhere I go, we got to fucking talk about politics and 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 all this shit. Like we got to know. We're already dealing. That's with why I said change the station, dude. Talk about something else. I don't know what else you would talk about. I liked when him and Nova were trying to do I mean, that punk thing, bro. But, talk um, about Canada. Talk about their bacon, their ham, their syrup. Talk know. about Canadian issues. I don't know. Like, why are you over yeah, here? Why are you over here got, talking shit about us? Like, <laughs> they got issues in Canada. Like, I'm talk about Justin like, Trudeau. Why? Let's hear what's going on over there. He ain't there no more, so I I, I, I believe you. Oh, he, no, he, he identifies as an American. To, to be honest with you, man, I kind of lost a lot of respect for Tom McDonald and Adam Calhoun because of, like, if you look at the Brave One, they used to tag Up Church in their songs, and Up Church wasn't even on the song, but they did that because of, like, the clout, the notoriety that came off of Up Church's name, you know? And I didn't believe that until I looked, like you said, I took a deep dive and I started looking and it's true. And yeah. I heard uh, that the reason Adam, or uh, Upchurch and Tom had an issue is Upchurch was supposed to be on the Brave. And they they filled his verse in and didn't even let Upchurch submit his verse. So Upchurch wow. was like, you know, okay. Well, well it was a collab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The way, I think the way... I don't even know this, but I know that the double albums a lot of times are just for the collaboration, like Yellow Wolf Caskey, and then I don't know if they had any features on that album. So like, but that sucks. If he was supposed to be a feature and then they took him <laughs> off, it'd be like, yo, what for? Why would you do that? Yeah, you know, see, I don't, I don't know. Uh, yeah, bullshit. I don't know. Like I, said, I just lost a little respect because like Upchurch paved the way for Calhoun, gave him all the the ink gets the box, and then like, you know, doesn't shout out church's albums nothing tom doesn't do it either and it's like but before they were all like church 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 you know yeah uh, does tom have anybody that he usually raps with i don't remember him having like he's got yeah like one this guy. guy oh one and guy church yeah there's another guy oh you tom and up church no i'm talking about like there was one time uh, him and nova were making a video with somebody else and there was like a guy they were going more towards like the rocker rock music a little bit i don't know i wonder where he's gonna go when when this is over that's all i'm not uh, trying to be no a hater idea, i'm just man. not I mean, not a fan i think i think tom's a good rapper he can rap but yeah, i don't think for sure the political shit has to chill a little bit you know I, mean? I bro i used to throw people at tom i was like i, I was like hey you got to check this out even when he did this house the response to white boy i mean i didn't like white boy at all but like when he did this house and he was like he was he was killing it. like his bars were on and then he just kind of he was like fuck it i'm tired of like defending myself i'm just gonna fucking be offensive <laughs> and that was that's kind of what happened Anyway, all right. Well, that, that was facts. Tom McDonald it is what it is, featuring Ben Shapiro. It is not a fact that this was. Uh, it is a fact that this went number one. I don't know what time of the day it went number one, but they are Billboard number one. That's Ben Shapiro's bragging about it. He can take on Eminem now. He's totally ready. That's crazy. All right, man. Well, shit. Let's get this done. Uh, thank you for hanging out with us. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Go to Mr. Reactions and more. I'm Trio Seven Reactions. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Mr. Reactions, baby. Peace. Let me know when it's done. Depend on it. Cook your meals. We call your trash. We connect your calls. We drive your ambulances. We guard you while you sleep. Do not follow us.